All right, guys, it's time to find the stars for World 4. And this is the first one that really catches my eye, but thing is, we only see the way to get off of it, and not the way to get to it. I assume there's some fan pointing in this direction somewhere. And it's probably not a fan we've used already. It's probably a fan on top of a structure somewhere, or in some hidden corner of the map that we haven't accessed before. So despite being the most obvious thing in plain sight at the beginning, it's probably going to be the last one we actually solve. Let's take a look around. Oh, Is that the way that, to get in with the box? So right over here, as a reminder, there was a box just sort of stashed around here. I'm on one of the first islands I went to. And I th this is the one with the crazy laser puzzle, where you're blocking lasers with a laser that's also connecting other lasers. And... I think this might be the way in. Oh, I can wait, I can jump up here. I don't even need a box to jump up here. I can just jump up here on, on, on my own. Wow. Wow. I thought, I thought I had to do some sort of trick with the box. I could just jump up here. All right, before we jump down, we'll take a look around. Do I gain access to anything special besides the obvious? Because yeah, there's a, I think I just solved the star already. Because the whole puzzle going on here is I just need... Let's just go in here. All I need to do to, to, to uh, get access to this... Is this pressure plate being pressed. Ta-da! Wow! Wow, that's it? How can that be it? Okay. Wow, okay, yeah. I was so sure that this puzzle was going to be about me having to find some sort of super efficient way of handling lasers. So that I only had to use two connectors. That just, that just seemed so amazingly obvious to me that the puzzle was going to be about using only two connectors somehow instead of three. So that one of the connectors could be used on the pressure plate. But here we go, contradicting that. The funny thing is that this puzzle was so... Took so much uh, thinking to figure out for at first, but now I can just sit here and be like, hip. In a few quick steps. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I got this. Don't even need a jump cut. Put it right in here. I remember what's up. Just need to create my redundant circuitry of sorts. Hey, creepy robots. Oh. Who's a creepy robot? Yes, you are. Alright. Oh. <laughs> it's all fidgety. There we go. And just like that, I guess we have access to the star. Right past this spot. Ta-da! Wow. That entire puzzle was just to get that block into this room. Wow, okay. I thought I was gonna have to do something really clever, but you just jump up a staircase that's so pre-made for you that you don't even have to place the block along the way to jump on it and pick it up. I thought at the very least I'd have to jump on the block, then jump up on the ledge, then pick up the block and stuff like that, and do something really, tr really tricky. But no, that might be the easiest star in all of uh, the, of Gehenna so far. But I need to find the other three. And I don't know if I can even remember where one of them is. For uh, background, it's been a week since uh, since the last episode was recorded. I, I, on, I only really have time to record Talos Principle on weekends, because this game is very time-consuming with the editing and everything. So it can take me an hour to record an episode sometimes, and I just need... I need, uh, I need just open schedule that the weekend provides. <laughs> But that also means I have to re-familiarize myself with stuff. So, that ha this has to be involved in a star, because it wasn't involved in anything else. So I'll have to figure out what I want to do with that. So this one's really interesting. It's the press and jam star. I already went ahead and just grabbed this connector out. You have to jam stuff to get it out. So we have a jammer and we have a connector. We have a purple gate on both sides. But then we have this area, which is- this is where the guy was contained. And what's interesting about this puzzle that's unusual is that the door that opened when we when we saved him opens to the outside world. That's pretty interesting for a few things. One of which is uh first of all, that means I could if I could get any items through to that chamber, I could take them to that fan. Don't know yet if that could be interesting at all, but it also opens up the possibility that taking stuff out of here could be part of the solution for the star. Which I haven't even laid eyes on yet, but I assume it involves this fan. Which used to be here, because that's how I flipped the switch in the first place. So I assume the whole puzzle is to get this 
lit up with red, probably using the uh, play button in some way. Oh, there's the star. <laughs> right on top of that wall. Did not see it yet. Okay, so I need, to, I need to get this fan to levitate me so I can jump on the wall and grab the star. All right, at least, at least I know where it is now. I completely failed to recognize it before. The question is what we're supposed to do, and I'm curious because part of me wonders if I'm supposed to use any of this outside world. There's no way up on top. I'm thinking in terms of that time where we saw we solved the star by taking the basically taking the puzzle piece out of the chamber. Can I do any platforming around here? Cause that could certainly help. Ooh, hello. Hello. That looks pretty intended to me. So now I just need to find a way to connect the red to the red. And that's a little tough, because one of the spots I need access to is way over there, around the corner, and the other one is on that side of the wall. I guess I'd probably have to go the other side to reduce the number of connectors involved. Yeah, I can shoot one from here to there, basically. That's not too bad. And if I give myself enough, long enough time with a duplicate... Oh god, don't fall down. If I give myself long enough time with the play button, then I could actually get another copy down there in time because I could do some tricky platforming to just well not tricky platforming <laughs> I could just jump out of the chamber and take the the other copy of the connector out there okay I may have just solved it then there we go buddy buddy there we go hit I'll be interested to see a Talos principle 2 at some point just or not, yeah, or just another puzzle game in a, with a brand new universe and everything. Maybe not a Talos Principle two specifically, because that would uh, that might lead to some problematic lore. Like the, the, since the first, since the main campaign kind of obliterates the uh, world that this game takes place in, uh, it's pretty hard to justify another Talos Principle existing. But uh, I'd love to see these guys make more puzzle games in the future because. This one, while really cool, uh, we do eventually hit a point where it's just, we're hitting a whole lot of, uh, the same mechanics being used and recombined in a hundred different ways, but at some point, they're definitely gonna, they're definitely gonna start losing their ability to surprise me in some ways, so I'd love to see them come up with a brand new game with new mechanics in the future. Although I'm, I'm a little biased because I don't have an interest, I don't have any particular interest in Serious Sam, so I'd love to just see them make more stuff like this. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh no! I forgot to connect it to the laser source. All right, we're just gonna skip ahead for when I do this correctly, because I'm a fuck up apparently. All right, let's try this again in a less stupid fashion. Oops. Now that I've not. Now that I remember to connect it to its source in the first place. Oh, actually, I almost ran out of time. Hey, Star. You're all mine. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. All right, so now we're two out of four stars. And interestingly, I have the ability to take objects out of this puzzle chamber pretty easily. And take them up there. I just don't know what I'd be accomplishing by doing so yet. One thing I could imagine is that... If I take a connector up there, and I take a connector up to the, one of the other doors up there, maybe it enables me to shoot a laser across the middle of the uh, hub world area that would not normally be, like the, a color that normally wouldn't be available in that area, and maybe that's involved in solving a puzzle. Or maybe I'm just making up puzzles that don't exist. Well, well I'll wait till I actually get there before I try to solve things. How about that? <laughs> Look at all these trusty objects hanging out outside the chamber. Brought, it all brought them all across? don't know if there's any reason to do that. Right off the bat, I can see, like, yeah, I could probably bounce a laser in that direction or something. Honestly, no. Probably not. The connector's probably not helpful, because this chamber only has one connector. So I can't shoot a laser from down there to up here to bounce somewhere else, because there's no matching connector with it. Still, kind of amusing to take everything clear out of its own chamber. Just need to figure out what to do next. I haven't... So I solved that star, and that star... We, we know where that one is, we just don't know where the fan is that points at it. Which could be part of this whole middle area, conceivably. But I, th I think this one, Goliath, is the one where I saw- I think I saw the test chamber and just didn't know how to get to it. I mean, the, uh, star. Right, Goliath is another one that has a weird 
star up on a wall. We have a theme to some extent. Just need to figure out how I'm going to get up there of all places. Let's check the roof line. Is there connecting tissue here really? Looking on this side, even with a box, you wouldn't really be able to jump up there. There's no fans. So my go-to assumption would be that you probably need to get on top of that wall and come through the, uh, whatever the... the Lego... the Lego block alternating height thing is called. I forgot, I forgot the crenulations, I think they're called? Anyway, we probably have to get on, to, on top of that wall and come from the other side of the screen. Which might involve getting up there and running across, since I look, it looks like I can make that jump. How do you get up there? Uh, that looks possible right there, actually. The side over here is has a low spot. Ow! So if I could get on top of this guy with a block, that wouldn't be too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and resolve this puzzle to see how many blocks there were, because I don't actually remember there's one. I have mentioned I could put one block on the ground here and put one on top of this guy, and ride him along, and then use that block to get me all the way across this whole process. But I'm gonna have to solve the entire puzzle again from scratch, because it reset. Okay, maybe solve the entire puzzle again from scratch was an exaggeration. All I need to do is grab the one block and get here. Ta-da! And now I've got my two blocks set up like I wanted to. Alright. I think this is it. I think that's the whole puzzle, honestly. I think I figured it out. Can I grab that one down? Yeah? No? I can't grab it? Oh wait, if I can jump over here, then I can probably grab that one again. There we go. Just got so yeah, so there's the star, and I can't jump that high. But this looks like it's pretty doable to me. There we go. Up we go. Oh, drop it again. Get on it, don't fall off. Sweet. Is that... I think this is it. Yeah, I'm up on the roof. First of all, getting up here almost feels like it could break certain parts of the- Oh, I can jump in there and trap myself, yay! Wait. I wonder if from here I could jump into the chamber of the character I'm trying to free. I don't- I, I think that would also just trap me, but uh, it'd be interesting to see if that's even possible. Alright. Oh, I can jump all the way up there from here. Yay! Well, that was straightforward. Ta-da! Yeah, that, I, I, that, that was just a, one, one you just had to reverse engineer. I knew not to bother looking out here because I already ran around in advance. I'm like, well, these are all sheer walls. There's no secrets outside, really. Cue uh, someone showing me how many secrets there are outside. So then I was just like, well, it's up on the wall. I can't climb that wall from this side, so there must be a way to get to there from somewhere else. And you just see the series of, of falling heights. That's, you just need to find the staircase. That's been... A, that's. That's a reoccurring theme already, isn't it? In this, uh, in this world's stars. I wonder if you could jump through these windows. They almost look like you're not supposed to be that close to them, like they're rendered weird. That's one, one thing I'm curious about. Is just how far... Can I, can I jump down? Okay, first of all, so I don't have to kill myself. Let's just drop that back down. There we go. Let's see how, how well I can clear this jump. Huh? Now that was... That was hard to tell. Probably probably wasn't quite far enough. Anyway, th that takes us down to our last star, which will be a little hard to identify because I could it could be anywhere on this island. Although this structure is so big, I kind of suspect that there might be something else for me to do around here. But I need to find a fan that's pointing at that one floating island, I uh, island which I think you can even see over here. It's the very first spot we looked at, and I was right in thinking that's the last one we're going to do. Because, well, that's, maybe it was a self-fulfilling prophecy. But yeah, somewhere around there, I, I can't even really see it from here, is a floating island. I, I can probably see it in midair. I just need to find what fan is pointing at it. Oh. Let's see. Was there anything to see while I'm in midair up there? It's hard to tell. It could be on top of that island, or it could be on top of something over here. I'll take a look around, like usual. Okay, so I may have forgotten... There's just there's just a fan pointing at it. It's a uh, I have a tendency to over mystify things in my head. I expect some grand puzzle. All right, so stars on that island. That fan points to it, obviously, and that other fan's how I get out. 
So I just need a thing to put on the fan. The end. Oh god. So in this chamber, the question is, how do I get something out of this chamber to, to, to go outside, to put on that thing? And my go-to is that it's probably going to involve that block in there, because this seems to always involve the block in some way in this situation. To remind myself how to get in there. There we go. Right. All right, I got the block out of there the exact same way we did last time. So now the question is just looking for where I can use this block to jump on something. My go-to is that this stuff's all covered in those barbs that usually mean you can't... I think that means you can't even walk on them, so that's not an option. Here we have a nice even wall, but it's too high by a pretty... De oh, what? I can just jump on this nub, but that's not enough, is it? I can't grab it from here either. So it's probably not the lead I'm looking for. There's no play button. I don't think there's even a second block in this puzzle, so that's not how I get this. But this could be interesting. This could be an element for sure. Wait, what if I can... Can I just jump out? Let's try that real quick. Running jump! Ah, it comes really close. Let's take a look around for something else, maybe. Where can I... Use this to get out. The short wall seems like good fodder for that kind of thing. This is the sh a shorter wall by comparison. The wood. I can't jump up there from here though. I don't get the auto jump. Which is the only thing that sort of defies the uh, gravity of how this works sometimes. Maybe the computer? Or does the game not let you stand on computers in this game? Is it disrespectful to computers to, to do that? Ah. I don't think they're gonna give me what I want. Let me guess, I put this down here, it's gonna fall? It did not fall, but I did. Still, there's two of these. I can make that work. So I put this on- oh, no. Not right now, Uriel. Can I place it on that side? Over there? Not really getting the prompt right now. If I jump in place? No? Oh cool. That made it work. <laughs> Glitched it a little bit. Maybe. Uh, is that the best option? Oh. I can just jump out, right? Hit. Sweet. That wasn't too bad. This whole, uh... I'd say the puzzles in this whole world weren't too bad. Maybe it's just because I still have PTSD of that star. The stars from the desert world. We Give me star. I earned it. It's mine. It's my star. Alright. So there we go. That's every robot, or AI, and every star achieved in World 4. And that means we've basically completed the main campaign. Now it's a matter of saving Admin, who is quite trapped somewhere else. Which I assume is why we got all the stars in the first place. Besides just being completionist, lunatic people. Let's do a little reading. The Outer World. So let's say this is really happening. We're really getting out of this world. I won't believe it till we see it. Let's say some part of us survives the trip. Where are we going? That's just a bunch of stuff we read before. People talking about wanting to get out no matter what. People... Want, talking about the remaining of our ancestors. I've been thinking about this a lot, and the only conclusion I've come up, I've come to, is that it will be stranger than any of us can imagine. Just once, I'll be the one to quote an ancient document. There is no excellent beauty that hath not some strangeness in the proportion. It will be very strange, but I hope it will be very beautiful. Just a little update on previous thing. Farewell, Atlantis. Just talking about the end of Gehenna and look, comparing it to a sinking, comparing it to a sinking ship, basically. Uh, well, sinking city. Lilith, the end of Gehenna is getting close. You know that what we built here matters to me in ways that there are just too complicated to fit into a post. But perhaps I can say it like the blacksmith does by creating a world. It's not as big or as detailed as I wanted it to be, 
but I like the thought that even though I will probably be no more than a memory, a static set of facts about someone who once existed, this little work of interactive fiction might continue to be functional, even in whatever place our memories will soon ascend to. Maybe someone, someday, will play it and get a glimpse of who we were. But mainly, I made it for you. All of you. It's too late to praise or f or f it's too late for praise or feedback or discussion, so I'm locking this thread. But if you want to talk, just talk. Then let's t let's talk while we can. Let's play Farewell Atlantis. Loading attachment. Close your eyes. Farewell Atlantis, a story of things ending. Choose your character class. Oh wow, we have classes in this. Poet, physician, scientist, farmer, and magician. Scientist? I mean, you gotta be true to yourself here. You're in the Temple of the Owl, the great scientific institution in Fair Atlantis, pursuing your work in discovering the secret laws of the cosmos. Your latest experiment is about to begin. Start the experiment. The gears of the machine you've been built begin to turn. Water flows. The aether rises. It seems to be functioning. Perhaps now, you will gain an insight into the true nature of reality. Suddenly, a blinding light appears within your machine. You take a step back. Startled. What's this? Approach the machine. You step closer to the machine and look into the light. You can't help it. It's hypnotic. There's something in the light. Investigate. It's a city. You can see a city. A great city, all aglow in the night. A city called... A voice speaks to you, and as it does, the machine suddenly shuts down. Excuse me, Professor, but the King of Atlantis has requested your presence. Talk to the messenger. The messenger is indeed a servant of Pose uh, Poseidonus, the King of Atlantis. You have been summoned to court, he says. His, his manner is friendly. Very well, it is the king after all. Ask what this is about. I'm a scientist after all, I gotta be inquisitive. I'm sorry, the messenger says, but I may not tell you. Let me reassure you, however, that you are not to be punished for of any for, or anything of that sort. King Poseidon Poseidonus merely wishes to, to hear your wisdom as regards an important matter. We should not tarry. Follow the messenger. The messenger takes you to his chariot, and together you swiftly ride to the great palace in the center of the capital. It is a splendid place, full of statues and banners and marvelous contraptions, and you can't help but wonder what you are doing here. While your work is valuable in its way, you do not usually attract the attention of kings. Enter the throne room. You enter the throne room and are immediately overwhelmed by its size and splendor. Its most impressive feature is a great mosaic on the wall behind the throne, showing the history of Atlantis. A thousand years of culture somehow embodied in a single titanic work of art. Examine the mosaic. The sheer amount of work this must have taken. Every stone carefully selected for shape and color, placed perfectly to complement the others. So many small elements working together to evoke a larger whole. What an accomplishment, and what dedication it must have taken. Welcome, friend. The King of Atlantis greets you. Bow before the King. No, do not bow, my friend. It is through science that we built Atlantis. You are as much a king, its king, as I. That is why I have called you here. Your scientific understanding of the natural world is needed. He hands you a scroll. Read the scroll. You read the scroll with growing horror, because you know that what you are reading is true. The calculations are correct. The numbers add up. The truth is unavoidable. Atlantis is sinking. Not someday. Not in the far future, but soon. Terribly soon. Confirm the truth. The king sighs. I was afraid of this, he says, but I had hoped we were wrong, that somehow, ah. 
but it is pointless. What is, is. This is the world we were born into, and that is what we must accept. The end of Atlantis is upon us. I'm gonna ask what can be done. Tell me, what is the heart of Atlantis? The king inquires. The people. The heart of Atlantis is its people, you say? The arts and sciences exist only to serve the people. Poseidonis nods. Then it is why... Then it is they who must be saved. And you will help save them. How? There is not much time. The sages discover our fate only this morning. And they are certain the final earthquake is nearly at hand. If there has been had been more time... He stares out of the window wistfully for a few moments, then gathers himself... There is no time for what-ifs, I'm afraid. Here, take this. The king's golden scepter. The sailors will obey you. Why me? Why not you? Why a king? Why not any other citizen? As I said before, you possess more wisdom than I, who has made king only because of my birth. Like admin, basically, is what we're talking about here. We're talking about the idea... We're talking about the idea of... Uh, my character taking everyone out of uh, Gehenna and Admin being replaced. Yes, my lord. Posidonis laughs. I am not a lord, my friend. I do not believe I am even a king. I am simply another mortal, trying to find meaning in an indifferent cosmos. My final act, perhaps the only true choice I ever made, was to select you for this task. My time is over. You must go now. Head for the harbor. Escorted by the same messenger who brought you here, you head up the harbor. Go for the chariot or... Let's walk this to see the city one last time. You decide to take the winding back streets that lead to the harbor. It's not the fastest route, but it's a chance to see the city one last time. You still can't entirely believe that any of this is happening, but the part of, but some part of you needs this. The streets are dark, but the darkness is, is interrupted by laughter and light spilling from taverns and homes. The people of Atlantis love to spend their nights with joy. Some are playing music, some are playing games. There is food and drink and lovemaking and storytelling under the stars. The earth rumbles, but no one pays much attention. Small earthquakes are common here. Hurry. Hurrying as much as possible, you and the messenger arrive in the harbor. Twelve great ships are waiting. Their captains see the golden scepter you carry and kneel before you. You have tears in their- they have tears in their eyes, but you sense their determination. Speak to the captains. You speak briefly, but with great conviction, telling the captains how important their task is. If they fail now, it is all for nothing. If they succeed, they will save the heart of Atlantis. Load the ships. You want to save the people of Atlantis because people are what matters. That, that you are certain of. That you are certain of. But who gets to live? Jesus Christ. So the sailors, families, famous individuals, whoever is closest. Jesus. Well, welcome to choosing who lives and who dies. Or not choosing. You have to be practical. The island could sink at any time. You tell the sailors just to get anyone in the vicinity of the, of, the, of the harbor. This causes some chaos, as some of them try to make sure their families get on ships, but you don't see another way. The ships fill with Atlantean citizens. The ground shakes more and more. Get ready to set sail. The ships are ready, the messenger says. It is time for you to set sail. You are not coming? You asked. Surprised. I never expected to. There's not enough space on the ships. Say goodbye. Heavy hearted, you say goodbye. Goodbye, friend, he says. I am sorry you had to make this choice. No one should have to. Remember us. Having spoken, he turns around and slowly walks back into the heart of the city, and you set sail. The time has come. You set sail away from Atlantis, away from everything you've ever known. The city seems quiet, at peace, 
Maybe you're the one who is dying. The island has almost faded completely from view when the earthquake strikes. The land seems to crumble and vanish under the water, a whole world disappearing as if it never existed. Within minutes, no trace remains of Atlantis except for 12 ships and the choices you made. Sail onward. Days pass. Terrible waves shake the ships, but these are the best ships in the Atlantean fleet. They do not sink. In time, you pass between two great rocky outcrops into an area of calmer sea. Find a new home. One day you come upon a beautiful fertile land where a mighty river flows into the sea. You decide this would be a good place to settle, if only for now. As you look at your new home, you suddenly remember the city you saw and the mysterious light in your machine, and you are certain that it is the city that, where, that, that will stand here. The city will rise from the remnants of Atlantis, a city that will endure until long after you are gone. And on another day, that city too will come to an end, like Atlantis. But perhaps the citizens of that city will be prepared will have been granted insights into the cosmos that the scientists of your time had not yet discovered, and they will fly away into the sky in their ships with painted sails, and the legacy of Atlantis will live forever amongst the stars. You can hope. The end. That little story right there about uh, Atlantis sinking? They're talking about Atlantis sinking and sending people out, and then that that city, that city will one day fall too, and but maybe they will have learned since then. I think that's a reference to the fact that Earth and everyone on it, like every every human on Earth, died as an, as a part of the event that wiped everyone out, which seems to be some kind of sickness, basically. And then they they got to here, they entered well not Gehenna, they entered the. They entered the they entered uh, Elohim's lair, and in this case, some of them now have made it to Gehenna, and this is the second city, and it's falling. But the uh, the hope is that when we escape into the real world, in whatever capacity that is, that we will be we we will overcome the mistakes of our creators, basically. Goodbye, world four. We're back outside. Oh. Tried to send me back through. They keep trying to pull me back in. All right, then. We've saved absolutely everyone. 